If you're running a business, you can't ignore the benefits of a pollution-free commercial vehicle to avoid the inevitable higher road tax and congestion charges. This Coventry-produced Modec electric van has a top speed of 50 miles an hour. It's got a range of 100 miles, all with zero CO2 emissions and all from one charge. Tesco has just bought 15 for its home delivery service, so it may be that White Van Man may soon become Green Van Man. Warwick's hybrid vehicle team are using their design expertise to advise a local manufacturer of refuse collection vehicles to see how they can become greener too. The project came about through the discussions with Advanced West Midlands as part of the Premium Automotive Research and Development Programme. Dennis became interested in the program on the basis of how it could be supported by the program in research in various areas. The program that we're involved with is hybrid vehicles so is of interest to Dennis because of the opportunity of getting a reduced emissions vehicle into the market. Through the work we've done through simulation, we've been able to uh, replicate the standard vehicle on the stand and correlate with that vehicle into the normal market in terms of the fuel consumption of CO2. We've then been able to produce a simulation of a potential hybrid vehicle and an architecture that then looks at the savings and the potential opportunity for Dennis in the different markets in Europe. We've been looking for some time at hybrid technology and have been approached by several companies who have potential solutions for hybrid. However, what we found is that we didn't have an independent uh, body to look at the problem. So we contacted uh, Warwick University, they came along and have enabled us to do a virtual simulation of hybrid technology to see the technical feasibility within a refuse collection vehicle. While we're in the refuse collection industry, which is all about recycling and reusing waste, and so obviously what we want to try and do is reduce our carbon footprint on the environment. Councils are continually pressed by government in order to do that, so they need a solution from suppliers like ourselves in order to give them the technology to achieve in the future. On a refuse collection vehicle, you're not only using the vehicle to go from A to B, but during your stops, you're using that vehicle to pack the waste into the back of the body. What we're trying to do is reduce the emissions from A to B to counter that inefficiency when we're loading waste into the back of the vehicle. One of the key areas we're involved in looking in is uh, that of supervisory control. Basically, on a conventional vehicle, the demand the driver applies to the vehicle by pressing the accelerator is transmitted directly to the engine. But with uh, a hybrid vehicle, you've got two potential sources of power, the conventional engine and the electric machine. So you need to have a, a control system that decides how much of the demand is met by the engine and how much is met by the electric machine if appropriate, or it may be that the engine supplies the whole demand. The simulation is basically taking the information that you get from the vehicle through data logging, i.e. how the vehicle is used, how it drives, putting the engine data in, the chassis data, all the way to the vehicle, running the simulation through that drive cycle as we call it, and then that shows you what the outputs are from the engine, from the batteries and all those sort of things, the auxiliary loads from the vehicle. From that, we can then look at that and say, right, okay, here are areas of compromise and the opportunities of producing a hybrid vehicle that would then save the CO2 or get the vehicle to a zero emission base. The prices and costs are only indicative at the moment, but we could be talking around about 20 to 25% on cost for an initial chassis. However, over the five to seven years life of the vehicle, that will be more than paid for in the, in the reduction of uh, vehicle running costs. We've had a lot of interest in the project from councils and local authorities in terms of requesting of, of our company, of Dennis Eagle, uh, the products to reduce their carbon footprint. The position we're at now in working with Warwick University is that we've now proven in a simulated environment that it is technically feasible to create a hybrid refuse collection vehicle. In terms of uh, the, the benefit that Dennis has seen through this project is the fact that through the research project and the engineers that are on that project, Dennis have had the access to the people with the knowledge. We're a relatively small manufacturer, whereas the University of Warwick have access to other truck manufacturing companies, vans and cars. So it's experience that we just don't have on board.